Hey guys, this is love. Uh, this is love on hate. This is Hate Street Voice, and oh, there's somebody back there hiding away back there. Hello, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm here with Raven, and we're talking about colors of love. Hey, Raven. So yeah, so what? I, so we got a little bit of what the story is behind the the program, but I wanted to know like what your background is. You said you're from Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. So. How did that all go on? How did that, you know, all, yeah. So I started tie-dyeing about 2019, 2020. Um, the reason I started tie-dyeing was actually to raise money around the George Floyd situation. Um, we started doing tie-dye shirts with slogans on them to raise money for bail bonds organizations, oh, wow. different ones around Pittsburgh to help people that were either unjustly arrested or arrested during protesting um, to get them out of jail and get them legal support. Oh. And... When I started doing that, I started getting requests to just for more regular tie dye. Mm -hmm. So I started realizing that I really, really love to tie dye. Wow! And I just started doing it more and more and more. So how did you learn how to tie? Where did it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh yeah, I'll just start tie dyeing. And when I first started, the reason my business name is Raven Alexandra X Fashion is because I started doing it as an upcycling program. So I used to take thrift clothing and bleach dye it, and it would be like old clothing that someone was going to throw away or something that was repurposed or remade and then it would be reverse dyed with bleach and then like after i had done that for a while i started getting deeper and deeper into finding different ways to tie dye and i really just got really into the whole the whole thing just on your own or you were taking <laughs> classes you just i just did it on my own wow that's like really inspiring yeah, it's just totally self-taught and a lot of things like there's a huge community online for tie-dye mm. So there's a lot of tutorials yeah. and like you can make so many different friends tie-dyeing too So I just have so many great friends in the tie-dye community that we all share tips and tricks with or mm -hmm. ideas or Different things just to help each other get better wow. So it is a huge supportive community in the entire world yeah. And do you mind my asking how old you are? I am 39. Oh my god, I thought you were 21. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Looking good, girl. <laughs> All right, you want to give a, sh a, sun out, a shout out to the a Sunshine Powers? Oh, Sunny is the whole reason that I am here. Sunny believed in me enough to bring me out here, move me out here, become one of her dyers, and run the Colors of Love program. Yeah. And she's just phenomenal. Without her, we never would have been able to start this program. And she's someone who had the forethought to realize that the girls in the program needed a hand up rather than a hand out yeah. to get them to a position where they can take on a full-time job, where they can do something creative with their lives and realize that they have work outside of just a nine to five job. Yeah. Huge. It's hard enough being like quote unquote regular and getting a nine to five job, you know, as far as like how, how it deadens your spirit. So it's a really beautiful thing. Yeah. And we should give a shout out to Dr. David E. Smith, who owns the building. Who That's is, actually exactly where I was going. Woo! Yeah. He's fine minds, so fine minds. Dr. Dave is right upstairs, and Dr. Dave is such a pioneer in the field of helping rehabilitating people that a lot of this came from him as well. And he is so supportive of our program. He stops down when he knows the girls Aww. are here to stop by and say hi. And he has been such an inspiration to all of us to try and be as great as he is. Because to be able to make a difference in the world like this through art is just phenomenal. And I think he realizes that. And he's been so supportive through the whole program. I don't know what I'd do without Sonny or Dr. Dave. Aww. <laughs> well, you'd probably still be in Pittsburgh. I actually moved to Colorado. Um, about a year before I moved here. Mm. My husband's in the military, okay. so he's still in Colorado right now. Uh, so yeah, this is so important to me that like we decided to live apart right now until he gets out of the army. I was gonna say, he'll get his ass out here. The West is the best, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, one, and again, I'm gonna ask you again, but I did ask you before in the previous with the girls, um, what you'd like to say to the Haight-Ashbury community in I general. Did. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for being such an amazing place. There's just so much liveliness and creativity and color in this place. Like, coming from a place like Pittsburgh, we have an art scene, but this is a place where you can actually come and make a living as an artist. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing quite like it in the world. And I would really love to be able to show the rest of this community how amazing tie-dye is and how... A lot of its American foundation is right here in the heart of the Haight-Ashbury. Mm -hmm. And there's so much history to learn and there's so much to gain from learning 
how tie-dye actually works because you can really apply it to a lot of different artistic situations as well just as far as color theory is concerned and artistic creativity in yeah. general mm -hmm. that I think a lot of people could really love it whether it is it's as a hobby or if they really want to become a serious tie-dye yeah. artist yeah thank you absolutely we love you Raven Oh, we love We sure did have fun with that black tie and tie dye, didn't we? Oh, that was amazing. Huge it success. Is. Yeah. I got that fine ass picture of you. <laughs> Sonny, just give me a wave. We love you, Sonny. Okay. On that note, y'all, signing out from Colors of Love. And thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Hey, Street Voice thanks you. Absolutely. <laughs>